Dear students, in this lecture, we shall take an example of a cost function. Let's get to it. As you can see that we are talking about a cost function which is related to the cleaning of the impurities of a lake. So, uh, the functional form is given and we can see that the cleaning cost of a certain percentage of that lake that is shown by P is given as follows. You can see this uh, equation. The cost is dependent upon how much of the cleaning we do. And P is being used in the numerator as well as in the denominator. So this is slightly a complex cost function, but it is not that much difficult. Let us do the experimentation by putting the values of P in it. For example, we can put uh, P is equal to zero. It means that if we don't do any cleaning of that lake, uh, intuitively we can expect that there will be no cost because we are not doing any cleaning. So uh, even by putting the values, that is the value of P as zero, we get uh, the cost equal to zero. So intuitively or mathematically, we get the same answer. But definitely we are talking about cleaning and we, we should know the situation where there is some cleaning. For example, if 50% of the cleaning is to be done, then instead of 0, we'll put 50 and we have done that. As you can see, instead of, uh, in place of P, we have put the value 50. And solving this, we get 9.09 units. So the cost has started to arise. From 0, it has become 9.09. Let's extend our analysis by saying that 100% uh, of the cleaning is to be done and it is uh, to be substituted in the cost function, the, the, the level of uh, cleaning that we need to do. And once we do that, we get the cost and that is 200 in this case. So you see uh, the pattern. The pattern is that initially there was no cost because there was no cleaning. And 50% of the cleaning required only 9.09 .09 units. It may be in dollars. We are using units because we are not specifying here if these are rupees, pounds, or dollars. So generally, we are using units. And the additional 50 uh, units uh, of the cleaning, if, they are to, if that is to be done, 200 units, that is uh, a substantial increase, perhaps, of uh, 190 units or 190 dollars or rupees or any other currency that we might see in real life. So you see, there is a startling increase in the cost when we uh, surpass the level of 50% and we try to achieve the 100%. Perhaps after 50% of cleaning, the uh, cleaning has become more difficult or costly. Uh, we should make a diagram and try to see how this uh, change is happening. Um, as you can see in the diagram, the cost is uh, increasing from 0 to 9.09 .09 for 50% of cleaning. But as we do the same level of cleaning after this, it, it arises uh, in, in a very brisk way. And we can see that the cost has increased to 200 whereas it was 9.09 .09 before. So you see, this is how uh, the function, if it is modeled in a mathematical way, it tells us about the changes and sudden rises and sudden falls in the value of the dependent variable. Um, so it's not a straight line. It's not a simplistic function. It is uh, more of a realistic function. Now, we take another uh, assumption and we say that after 50%, we have an additional cleaning and that additional cleaning would require additional cost. It is quite similar to the marginal cost concept. Um, we are going to model our situation in this way that this was the cleaning to a certain level, for example, 50%. And this is that uh, cleaning which will be uh, this will be the cost of the cleaning, which will be the sum of the initial level as well as the additional cleaning. That additional cleaning is now represented with H percent. Now, uh, 
in order to know what is the additional, that is the difference of the new and the previous cost of cleaning. We need to take the difference and that is done by using this negative sign. Now I'll put the values. As you can see in place of P, I'm putting P plus H. Wherever there was P, I'm putting P plus H. And this is the, uh, the older version, that is the uh, certain level of cleaning with, without any additional level of cleaning. Uh, now putting the values, the certain level of cleaning was 50% and the additional level of cleaning is 30%. In place of H, I'll put 30% in place of P, I should put 50%. Now this is how uh, the simplification can be very easy if we put the values into their right places. And after the simplification, we get to know that 20.09 units is actually the additional cost of cleaning. Now you can see uh, the first 50% was just costing us 9.09 .09, uh, units, whereas the additional 30% has uh, costed us for 22.09, uh, more than the double of the 50%. So you can see that there is a startling increase and we can feel it even if we take the case of additional cost. In this way, we can uh, do the analysis, which is the gist of uh, understanding the economic theory and its application, where we are trying to break down the trends and we are trying to note the changes in the variables bit by bit.